In this video, we are going to discuss about ray and psi phase attack on E allylic alcohol. Let us consider this E allylic alcohol. This is the first uh, sp2 carbon atom. This is the second sp2 carbon atom. This is the top side view of uh, E allylic alcohol. Now we assign the ray and uh, psi phase. Let us consider the first uh, sp2 carbon atom. Here uh, the double bond uh, carbon atom having the higher priority than methyl group than uh, hydrogen. Here uh, the priority rotates in anticlockwise direction so we get a psi phase attack. Next we consider the uh, second sp2 carbon atom. Here also the sp2 carbon atom that is double bond carbon atom having the higher priority than ch2 carbon atom then uh, hydrogen. Here also the high priority rotates in anticlockwise direction so we get a psi phase attack. So we uh, see the molecule from the top side that is when the oxygen attack from the top side uh, we get a psi phase attack. Next we have to see the molecule from the bottom side this is the bottom side view of this molecule here we assign the ray and psi phase for the first carbon atom the priorities are rotates in clockwise direction so we get ray phase attack for the second carbon atom the priorities rotates in clockwise direction so we get ray phase when the oxygen uh, molecule is attacked from the bottom side we get ray phase attack i think now you have an idea about what is uh, psi and the ray phase attack on uh, Sharpless epoxidation reaction next we see the chiral catalysis that is uh, diethyl tartrate this is a uh, minus diethyl tartrate here the hydroxy groups are backward to us this is a plus a diethyl tartrate here the hydroxy groups are front uh, toward us the configuration of uh, minus diethyl tartrates are ss the configuration of plus diethyl tartrates are rr in the next video we discuss the mechanism of shopless epoxidation reaction thank you